All right, the last thing we're going to talk about is international time zones. We talked a little bit about that last lesson, and we talked about the international dateline and a little bit about time zones around the world. So as we discussed, countries, continents, or different places in terms of if they're not a country, they might be different states, have variations or they have an average time according to an average or a longitude that's about the centre of that country or state for basically for geographical reasons. So if we look at Australia... Then we've got our Australian Eastern Standard Time. We've got the states of Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria working at GMT plus 10 or UTC plus 10. Australian Central Standard Time is UTC or GMT plus 9.5. And our Australian Western Standard Time is plus 8, so GMT plus 8. And we know that they're an average, so essentially there are lots of different towns that sits on quite a few um, different meridians however we just do an average so that everyone in that state for geographical reasons is exactly at the same time. As we talked about the international date line sits on exactly the other side of the world to the prime meridian and it's not straight it's not a straight line it's not a meridian of longitude because it's bent to go around the continents or countries now, often referred to as the ideal or the international date line. Daylight savings we also talked about. It can sometimes be called summertime. We had an hour on in daylight savings and it goes from the first Sunday in October to the first Sunday in April. Now I have googled it and it is only in Australia, in New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania and South Australia. The other states in Australia don't participate in daylight savings. You should be able to then work on exercise 705, questions 7 through to 17. And just quickly, because we have done some examples that are very similar to this, I'll just show you an example of what a question looks like in 705. If the Australian Open was live on TV in Melbourne at 8.30pm on a Saturday, what day and time would it be in Dallas in the US? So there, UTC minus 6, which another word, remember, is GMT minus 6. So during my rectangle up, here's my zero. I'm presuming that Melbourne's sitting on the same um, timeline, so it's sitting in 150 degree, 151 degrees east, but I don't need to know that. I know it's GMT plus 10. I know Dallas is sitting back here on the other side of the zero, or my prime meridian, or my GMT zero time at minus 6. And I know that between them there's a 16-hour difference. So if I'm starting at 8.30pm on a Saturday night, I'm going to go in back in a 12-hour block. That's easiest for me to do first. So from 8.30pm to 8.30am Saturday morning is 12 hours. I've got to go a total of 16. Four more is what I need to travel. And going back another four will take me to 4.30am on a Saturday morning. So you can now work on that. And then when you're finished, I'll give you some time in the second half of the double to work on the chapter review.